Welcome everybody, and uh, we are kicking off the summertime with a three-night cruise on the Allure of the Seas here out of Port Canaveral. It's going to Nassau and uh, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So it's going to be a short one, but it's our first time on the Allure, so come along with us. Let's go. nothing major all along the way. We are finally on the gangway and getting ready to board the ship. That's all that went terrible. I think if we didn't have those hiccups, I think we would have gotten on a lot quicker. But it's okay. We're good. Yeah, all in all, still only 30 minutes from the time we stopped to drop off luggage to the ship. So good for us. Yay. Good for us. And just like that, we're on the ship. We're here. We do have some sort of a plan to get started. Um, ship so big, it's just a three-day cruise, so we got a lot we want to do. Um, but I think we haven't eaten anything today, so we're gonna go get our. We get our lunch on. Well, we got what we got to do first: mustard drill. Oh. We're gonna get mustard drill out of the way. So that took all of five minutes uh, tops to find. It took us longer to find our mustard drill than it did to actually uh, go through it. All this quick scan. And we're done. So now we need to go get our cups. We did purchase the drink package. So we're gonna get our cups. All right, we always recommend getting on the ship as early as you can, which involves, uh, you know, we have the opportunity to do the check-in, select the earliest time possible as early as you can. And uh, we had a 10.30 check-in time. So we are actually, uh, we've been on the ship a total of 10 minutes. We've got our mustard grill out of the way. We got our drink package cups, which we'll show you that later. And uh, now we are headed up to deck eight to go get something to eat from Sabor. Well, can't go that way. So we gotta go back down to five to go over there. All right, we're all over the place here already. Uh, you have the greatest plans in the world, which they're still fine, but I'm just trying to learn a new ship. Uh, yeah, it's so good. So compared to the Freedom, we knew where everything was. Like, like that, as soon as we got on the ship. So, trying to maneuver this bigger ship. Good morning. Thank you. Ooh, look at that pretty one. Come on, Fred. We're going to walk steps while we can. Before the, yep, nope. Friday, Friday is step day. Where are you? The boardwalk on the Lord of the Seas is a vibrant open air neighborhood inspired by seaside piers and amusement parks. It features a carousel, arcade games, and various shops and eateries. The key highlights include the Aqua Theater, which hosts aquatic acrobatic performances, and Johnny Rockets is a classic American diner. The boardwalk is a family friendly and offers a lively, nostalgic atmosphere with entertainment and activities suitable for all ages. You'll also notice as we walk by the wooden horses here, each one represents a further developed horse on a carousel so you can kind of see the progress and how those go from start to finish is kind of a unique touch and when you get to the end you see the carousel. We're just going to make a quick loop around this way. Look at some of the shops real quick, but really we just are out here at this point in life for lunch. And Sabor is a tequila bar, I think, slash uh, Mexican food. So hopefully it's open already. I mean, it may not be open. Sabor doesn't open till 12 on embarkation day. So we're gonna find something to eat. It's not even 11 yet. We're not gonna hang around here for an hour. Uh, we're gonna look and see. Yeah, dog. All right, so we've left the boardwalk without food, without dogs, without support, and I think we just get settled on. Let's go get some pizza from Sorrento's. That is right. So back down to level five we go, deck five. Oh, he's working me today. And uh, go get in line there. So the plan is to do that, and then uh, all right, Sorrento is on the promenade. Ooh, we can get our coke stress and uh, they have a, a couple different types of pizza but we're going to get some of those 
and uh, enjoy that. All right, so uh, we got our Coke Zeros. Mm. Right outside Sorrento's, you can get that filled up. Another thing I like is they don't have the bunch of packets of things like they did on uh, they did on the Freedom. So if you want your pepper to go on pizza, they have that kind of stuff as well. Garlic. Okay. You know this is Parmesan, not garlic, right? That will. <laughs> Thought it was garlic. <laughs> it's so good. All right, so this is about what a piece looks like. Mm. Bottom's nice and crispy. Good pizza. So you can hold it, it stays pretty straight. Um, it's not overly thick. Um, it's not hot, it wasn't the freshest pizza, but um, yeah, not bad for a start. A little disappointing, and that's our fault for not researching uh, Sabor and that they don't serve food there to 12. You're limited to just a few things to eat. Like, uh, it's like that. Jammer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure it's open already. Um, like I said, Serenos is open. We're going to get a uh, hot dog. dog house. We're going to get a hot dog in the dog house and people in front of us complained about the hot dogs not being hot. So I'm guessing they just put them out. Yeah, they may have just put them on. Uh, so we decided to come on back down here to Sorrento's, get some pizza, uh, which is, eh, it's just okay, to be honest with you. But get something on our stomach. I think we're, one of the things we do is, uh, we've learned the last couple trips, just board the ship. If you're gonna go straight to the pool, just board the ship with your swimsuit on. And uh, so that's what we did. And so we're fixing to head up to deck 15 where the, uh, solarium and the pool is at and hang out and enjoy the afternoon Whew. so we've only changed our mind like 37 times so far in the last hour on anything we want to do we decided to go check out the regular pool first in the area maybe camp out at the spot all right so we've made it out to the main pool i think Tres finally settled on an area uh they have loungers that are in about two inches of water and uh so that's cool so we got us one where you just kind of put your feet in and we're just gonna relax and enjoy that room uh Trent and i went to the pool about noon and we have been uh, up there for the last few hours. So it's all it's up to four o'clock now. And uh, yeah, so you can still hear everything going on the top deck out on your porch um, or out on your balcony. So uh, we're gonna, we're in the process of getting dressed and try to eat some more for the second time tonight or for the second time today. So hopefully we get to do that. All right, so we are back on the fifth jet. Trying to navigate our way around here to get to the boardwalk once again. So we're gonna give Sabor another chance. It's one of the things we've been looking forward to most about the cruise, and uh, we're excited to try it. So hopefully we can get in. It's uh, I don't know 4:45. So fingers crossed. That's right. We've been looking forward to this. So we can't. Our main dining time is 5:15, yeah. and. Uh, We'll be able to hit that up as well. We know they're definitely open, so now it's just a matter of whether or not we can, we can get, it. get it. Sabor on the Lore of the Seas offers a modern take on traditional Mexican cuisine. The menu features a variety of flavorful dishes, including freshly made guacamole, tacos, quesadillas, ceviche, and enchiladas. There are also unique items like jalapeno spiced margaritas and other innovative cocktails. Sabor emphasizes fresh ingredients and bold flavors, providing a vibrant dining experience with a mix of classic and contemporary Mexican dishes. All right, so now that we wanted to come eat here, I have uh, really not much of an idea of what we want. They have uh, three different options on margaritas, so I'm gonna get one of those for sure. I'm sure Therese will get something as well. And, all right, so I got a handcrafted margarita. Uh, that is included as part of the drink package. Uh, we also got, I guess, some chips and salsa coming. Uh, the guac you can get either spicy, mild, the best we could tell. Uh, I don't do guac, Trez does, so I think she got it spicy. So uh, that's the first thing coming out, and we'll see how that is. So what do you, uh, you see anything that you're like most looking forward to? I am old, so I have to wear glasses. Um, I think I want 
marble coat. It's three crispy tortillas, shredded short rib, chipotle barbecue sauce, and queso fresco. Sounds good to me. We've never been here before, so we're kind of like, okay, what do we get? You know? What'd you get? I got the fried chili calamari. I love some calamari, so I'm kind of excited about this. And I had it a lot. Yeah, I got the uh, queso fundido, which is Mexican cheese fondue, chorizo, roasted poblano, onions, and tomato. Uh, we will check that out. We haven't ordered our uh, our main dish yet. Uh, I did get the. They have uh, three different margaritas. They have the handcrafted margarita, the avocado, and the jalapeno cucumber. I started with just the handcrafted margarita. It is part of your uh, drink package if you have this. Um, it says it's Patron, Contro, uh, lime juice, agave, muddled limes, orange, salt rim. I got it without the salt. And then a huge salt person uh, with my margaritas. Is it the best uh, margarita I've ever had? No. Is it uh, more than adequate and, and good kind of classic margarita? Uh, if you expect the restaurant, absolutely. All right, so just bought us some chips and uh, salsa. The salsa is obviously chunky. I wouldn't, what I would consider uh, salsa, but I don't like chunky salsa typically, and I'll eat that, so it's not too bad. The first look at this salsa, it's kind of chunky. It's it's fresh. Like they literally make it back there fresh for you. Would I prefer like a regular salsa? Yeah. But I think it could use a little bit more seasoning to it. But overall, I like tomatoes and, the, and onions, so it's okay. I'm just ready for my guacamole to come out. So I am not against anything when it's fresh. I will take it. Uh, I love fresh food, period. Uh, however, chunky salsa has never been my thing, but I'm going to try it. I'm with Therese. The chips are thin, they're crispy, like chips are awesome. Um, I have, I, like, I'm not even objectionable to the chunky salsa, so to speak. There's just almost like no spice in it. It's super mild. Um, I like spicy things, and uh, but for me, it's just not like while it's it's fresh and I appreciate the fresh flavors. There's just not a lot of flavor in it in regards to any sort of spice or kick or maybe a jalapeno or or something like that in it to kind of um, even some cilantro just to kind of diversify the the flavor of the tomato. So. <laughs> My first reaction when he brought it out to us, like, why does it need a ladle? Like, it looks like I need to scoop it and pour it, but it's very thick. It might be because you're going to eat it that way. And very chunky, um, with what I can feel in this, but let's give it a try. And I love guacamole, so let's... Mm. Oh my God, y'all. That guacamole is so much better than that chunky salsa. Wow. And he told us, usually it's freshly made, so they had, they like took a little while and brought it to us. Very, very, very good. I love it. All right, for the good of the, the video, I don't eat guacamole, but here it goes, it's fresh. I said I like, you know, fresh things. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm not even gonna go like little bite. I'm gonna get a, a, a nice chunk here. Somebody who doesn't eat guacamole, would you like it from some more? I will say. It's got more flavor than the salsa, for sure. Would I prefer just a good spicy salsa? Absolutely, over this. But even though it's not my favorite, I can sense like the, the freshness in it, and I can appreciate that. And there's nothing overpowering that's just like foul that I don't like. So, you know, well, well am I gonna like get huge scoops of it on my on my chip no but will i get a little bit and you know i add to the the, the plain chip sure here we are they just brought out 
the calamari, which Trey has ordered. Is that right there? Now we're getting into what I like. And I would have ordered the calamari, but she ordered it, so she beat me to it. I ordered the queso fundido, which is just a pile of uh, cheese and uh, tortillas. We'll go on next to our chips. So we have guacamole, we have salsa, we have cheese, calamari. Then we have. I'm going to let Trez try the uh, calamari and let her So there's two sauces. There's like a there's a red sauce. I'm not sure exactly like what he said it was. And then there is a white sauce. Crispy, fresh. The white sauce? It's more mayonnaise based. Kind of like a tartar sauce would, if you would. Now let's try this red sauce here. Let's see. The red sauce almost reminds me of pizza sauce. It's not, but it reminds me of the pizza sauce. It's very tomatoey base. But calamari, that's where it goes. And the white sauce. We have these tortillas, and they're warm, by the way. So they feel warm. But I'm gonna go with the chip first. Wow. It's just, uh, wow. That looks phenomenal. I'm gonna actually just scoop a bit of that pork. Mm, which, oh my lord. And here we go. I don't even really know how to describe that other than to say it's a lot of cheese, it's hot. And it's delicious like i want to put like the cheese on it but maybe even a little guac a little tomato just like put a little bit of everything on a chip or a tortilla and just eat it like that and see how it all comes across the mixture of the hot the cold and everything's been good hold on i like red sauce more than Trez does so i'm going to tell you about the, the calamari it's not bad it's not bad at all i'd eat the red more than the, the marinara more than the uh the white, she's more of a tartar fan, so it just depends on your preference on that. I'm pretty impressed with me too because I don't ever eat none of this. Give me on vacation and you know, I'll try to eat this. I'm already full. And I haven't even had my main course yet. That's a lot of food. But it's so good. So, Therese got the barbacoa tacos and i got the i think it's tampacana steak uh which comes with like bell peppers and onions uh a side of uh refried beans and chips there first of all these look amazing and i am a huge sour cream fan so i'm gonna go ahead and slap some sour cream on here no graceful way of eating a taco <laughs> so we're gonna try this The beef is perfect. I love it. it. I like that shredded beef on there. Um, it's sweet, and I didn't know barbacoa was sweet, but I dig it. I like it. So, mind of the world, I got the steak. Um, I'm not a huge uh, like crispy onion fan. I say when I say not huge, I mean I don't like it. I'll eat onion, but it needs to be like soft. And they're not really like I guess maybe crispy or whatever. Look at them. The steak is rather thin. Um, I asked for it medium rare, so we're going to uh, spin this. It's going to be hard to see. It's not medium rare, but it's a thin steak, but I, I'm not mad at it. The flavor of it is, you know, kind of what you'd expect out of ordering a steak from a Mexican uh, restaurant. Um, yeah, I'm not mad at it at all. Like I said, I'd like it. I wish it was a little thicker, but not bad at all. So I got the churros, which comes obviously with two churros. I think that's some sort of vanilla sauce and obviously a chocolate. It's a coconut flan. Mm. I think that's like honey sauce or something like that, but I don't know. I've never had flan before. And I've heard it's kind of like a um, creme brulee, and I love some creme brulee. It's a little thicker than a creme brulee. It's like a vanilla custard, but it's a thicker. How many times can I say thicker in one <laughs> try? <laughs> it's good. I like it. They gave me a fork, but I ain't. From the south, I ain't worried about a fork. Um, 
fruit dip one. I'm gonna go in the, I don't know, I'm gonna assume a vanilla sauce first. I'm more of a chocolate person, so I'm gonna save that for a second. They are warm, like they're, they feel like they've just been cooked. It's crispy on the outside. It's really lighter in the middle. It's not as, uh, it's not really dense at all in the middle, like all the crisp and the crunch on the outside. The sauce is definitely like a vanilla custard type sauce. Not a lot of flavor to it, honestly. So, do it. Let's try the uh, the chocolate here, which I am more of a fan of for sure. But let's see how it goes with a churro. God. That's weird. Like I love cinnamon and sugar, and I love chocolate, but. In this situation, I don't know how great it pairs together. Like it's kind of two completely different things. Like I almost feel like if I was picking one, I'd probably go with the the vanilla or whatever that the cream white sauce is. So, yeah. We are gonna go back to the room for a minute, take a little break, and then we have blades at 9:15. Wow, sick moves. Hashtag Hydroblade. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jane. I we have all trained and competed at the highest level in our sport. We're going to be doing things a little differently. Tonight, we are going to be skating to the music that we love, the music that is on our playlist. So let me introduce you to the cast. 